In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix Fortnite not launching on the Nintendo Switch. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna present multiple fixes that are going to help you ensure that you don't run into any issues when trying to launch Fortnite on a Nintendo Switch. These are very basic and for the most part, doing any of these will solve your issues. The first one that I want to cover is network issues. If you cannot launch the game and you are getting a message similar to this, unable to log into Fortnite servers, this could indicate a bad connection. To solve this, in your Nintendo Switch, go over to the home screen and access the settings. Inside of the settings, one of the main categories at the left side is going to be network. You have to make sure that you have a network properly set up, and unfortunately, due to security reasons, I can't show you this full process on screen. But immediately upon going into the network or internet settings, you will be able to start a new connection. This could be Wi-Fi, and as long as you have the connection properly set up and the connection status is good to go, when you visit this window, you will be able to try opening up Fortnite again and see if it works this time. If it does, you are ready to play, but if you are still getting some sort of unable to log in message, or the game is not going past the login screen, there is another method that really helps. If you don't have automatic software updates on your Nintendo Switch, go back to the settings one more time, access the system category, usually at the bottom of the left-sided menu, and you will be able to enable automatic software updates. This is extremely important, not only for Fortnite, but any other game where you have to connect online. Because if you aren't running the latest version of that specific game, you aren't going to be allowed to launch it. So by enabling updates and making sure that Fortnite is properly updated to the latest latest version available, you will have access to the game without any issues. Once you have this enabled, you can also try manually updating the game by going back to the home screen, highlighting Fortnite on your list of games, and then pressing the plus or minus button on your Nintendo Switch controller or Joy-Con. You are going to bring up game-specific options for Fortnite, and all you have to do in there is go over to Software Update, where you can start the process of updating Fortnite via the internet. You really have to make sure that you have the latest version of the game or else, like I mentioned previously, you are not going to be allowed to connect to the Fortnite servers. With these two methods out of the way, you should be able to connect inside of Fortnite. If you don't have storage space to download the updates for Fortnite, that means that you will have to acquire more storage update, updates in space before you are allowed in, but besides all of this, you are now ready to play. You will be able to try launching the game, connect using an Epic Games account, and you are ready to go, regardless of the hardware of your Nintendo Switch. So any edition of the Switch will work, Lite, the standard, or even the OLED. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix Fortnite not launching on the Nintendo Switch. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.